everybody, welcome back um, to Create With Me today. Uh, today I'm going to be uh, doing a design team project for Artie Mays. Um, Artie Mays, um, who's Andrea, has a shop on Etsy, um, but she's also got a Facebook group. And I'm going to put those links below to that because what I'm going to be using today um, is a kit called Fern and Mushroom Collage Papers with Extras. But also, um, Artie Mays often gives um, freebies if you're within her group. So I'm going to put that link below because um, this is one of the things uh, recently she gave away is uh, the, the mushroom and fern washi tape. So these are really, really nice. I'm going to be using these today, as you can see. But I just want to show you very quickly on the fern and uh, mushroom collage papers with extras. Um, this is what Andrea considers extras. So it's huge. It's such a beautiful kit um, and you'll see that as we start working with it. Um, so let's just uh, go over what it is. Um, uh, my thinking is in... let me get my journal out here. Um, this is a little pocket tag flip out and it's you've seen these done I know um, but I just want to show you a really shortcut uh, way of doing it so <clears throat> this being your journal page you'll adhere this strip down and then this will flip over um, so you've got this beautiful image on the back and then the pocket contains a tag and on the back, I've made another little pocket to hold one of the little journal cards. So what I want to show you is just a, a, a quicker way I've found of making these. Um, and you know I like quick, so let's get started. Um, I'm hoping there's not going to be a glare. I've just recently bought a new um, cutting mat for my desk. Um, this is a Tonic Studio glass. And as you can see, you get the reflection from that light. So I put this paper down, which I like to work. Um, but I'm loving this. I'm really liking this because I was ruining my... Um, that was a fabric mat I had on here before. And I was getting glue all over it. So I thought, oh, it's time to invest in a glass one. So anyways, let's get started. Enough of my rambling. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. So my little shortcut to this pocket idea. Let me get a paper so I can... Uh... So this is how it's going to come. Uh, these are her journaling cards um, and I've used half of this on the project. So you've got the remainder. <clears throat> it's just a, a you know, you, you, if you've already done this, I'm, you know, that's great. I just had not figured this out before. Um, you guys know I'm a little bit slow on the pickup. So what I do, I've just trimmed off one side of it. And we're going to keep this one attached so that that becomes the hinge. And before, I've been cutting things out creating a hinge with a piece of cardstock and today I don't know why it just uh, came to me when I was doing these. I thought, oh, this is a great little um, shortcut. So I wanted to pass that on to you guys. So that's cut around. Now what we're going to do is score along here and here. And if you've got a scoreboard um, I've got one. I don't know why. I never seem to pull it down. I find it just as easy to use my cutter. Um, so you've scored this so that you can fold and then this that way this is going to fold. This is going to be your hinge. So it's already on there. And uh, <clears throat> The other thing I like to do is just Decide um, which side has got a bit more space so that you can notch it out with, this is a one inch uh, circle punch, and then this one's got a bit more room, so I'm going to choose to have this as my front. 
and just center that out, you know, try to get it in the middle. If you're a perfectionist, just take your ruler and, and dot it, but I just eyeball it. And I don't go halfway, I go probably a third and just snip that out so that you got a nice little um, indention. It just makes it easier to get those tags in and out of. Um, okay, so the next thing we want to do is run this through the machine, <clears throat> but I'm going to ink it before I do that so that uh, none of that plain cardstock is going to show. And then I'm also going to ink around where I've cut because you, it, you know, it, it needs a bit of inking there. And if you like your things grungier than I do, certainly um, ink away. Now this hinge, I do the front and the back. You don't have to do that. Well, yeah, in fact, that was just pointless, so forget that. Because <laughs> that's going to be glued down. <laughs> uh, so anyways, now, when you stitch this, and if you're not going to sew it, just run a, a bead of glue along here. You don't need to glue that. Just two sides. But I like to run it through the machine, but you'll see I put that really close to the edge because I didn't want anything to hinder this um, tag going in and out. So let me set that to the side because I'm going to do all my sewing at one in one go. Okay, so this is the other tag. Um, Oh, I just read this. These ah, oh, these fit the CD sleeves. Oh, Andrea, aren't you clever? Look at that. She has created these, so these are going to be perfect in the CD case. Oh, lordy, those are wonderful. Thank you, Andrea, for that, because often you've got to create that journal card for that. Oh, she is. Oh, she's, she's so switched on. So that is great. I cannot wait to get so this is my next journal guys coming up is using um, this kit and it's going to be a three signature hardback um, using Nick the booksmith's uh, core, you know, technique for the hardback uh, journals. So this is going to be fantastic. Oh, I'm so excited about those. So this one, I'm just going to ink a bit on the back, um, and we're just going to get everything cut out for the project, and then um, I'll just stop it long enough to do my stitching with the machine, and then we'll come back and finish this up. It's such a quick um, little project for you guys, but that's why I try to make things simple, um, because, you know, a lot of people don't you know, working full time, don't have a lot of time to craft, and I just, I really try to make things as easy as I can. <clears throat> now the other thing I used, I've got those ready for the machine. The other thing I've done is I've taken one of um, these little tickets to form a small um, pocket back here. I'm so sorry, I keep saying um, and, I, and so, I keep saying so. I apologize. I don't. I don't know. I think we <clears throat> don't realize till we're doing something like this how annoying we <laughs> would sound. So I'm sorry. <laughs> but one thing on the last one, I did the um, little pocket after I had stitched it. But this time, I'm going to go ahead and get the pocket on and then sew over it because I like to see the stitching. And I've I've got my black thread back in. I don't know. I I don't know what's going on. It's really odd. My machine does beautiful with um, the white thread, or maybe I'm just noticing it with the black. But every time I put the black in, it's the same weight of thread, same brand of thread, and yet I'm still struggling with that stuff balling up, and I don't know why. Um, I don't know. I'm starting to wonder. 
about getting the machine serviced, but my goodness, I haven't had the, the machine very long, so I wouldn't have thought it needed that already. But Okay, I think on this one, this is another thing Andrea includes, these little labels. Aren't they gorgeous? So with this one being brown, I'm going to choose to use the red one. I'm going to go and get this cut. I just want to get all of the little elements cut out, and then we can come back and start piecing everything together. I cannot wait now to start on those, um, the little altered CD case, because that is adorable. It's a beautiful kit. Um, really, really thrilled when I saw this. Uh, and it's big. I mean, I can't believe how much comes in this. Uh, let me do a little journal card here. So I hope everybody is having a good week. It is very rainy again here. I Okay, so I wasn't here last summer, and apparently they had one of the hottest, driest summers on record. So I knew from that that it was probably going to be a washout this year, and sure enough, uh, yet all last week rained. That's basically all it's done this week, but I actually don't mind it. It's um, I will take that over the hot weather because I am not coping with heat too well these days. Um, okay, now the only thing I am using today that's not from Artie Mays is Tracy's little tiny embellishments. I'll show you a close-up of that. Um, just because I like to put, see this, I put the tiny little butterfly there, but this one I want to do a different shape, I think, uh, because that being a rectangle, I'm going to go with something that's a little bit, um, I quite like that one. So I'll just go ahead and get that snipped out. And then I'll put some cheesecloth and then a bit of um, lace scrap on this project as well. So yes, back to the weather. It's not great. And I personally don't see it changing much this summer, but I could be wrong. Um, it's just in the past, I have noticed when it's a really dry, hot one, usually the next year is just rain, rain, rain. And I'll tell you what, last week in the evening, believe it or not, we were having a fire in the fireplace. Not here. We were. Uh, we had had to go over to Wales um, last week, and uh, the place that we were at had a uh, wood burning stove. And nearly every night, we were um, having a fire in it. So it's peculiar weather. Okay, so I think I've got everything that's going to be on this. Let me go ahead and punch out my little. Little thing here. Where did it do? Oh yeah, this is <clears throat> that's the washi tape. So I'm gonna put a strip of that along there too, because I just think it finishes it off really nice. Now this is a freebie. Andrea is very generous uh, in her Facebook group. She's very. Um, Oh gosh, you know, she frequently offers little uh, tags, and this sheet of uh, washi is just so handy. Um, so do join join her um, group. It's, it's a great little group to be involved in. Okay, so I think that's all I need to do at the moment. I'm going to go over machine stitch that, stitch that. Oh yeah, I was going to glue this on. Let's get this glue done first. See, that fits that perfect. <clears throat> and you guys will be excited to know I got my glue in yesterday, so yay. <laughs> but you know what's funny? <clears throat> I used it this morning on this, and it just runs out, so i got to get used to the consistency of this one. Whereas, um, this is what I've been using lately. It's really thick glue. And uh, I t 
turned this over this morning and it just went everywhere. So I thought, oh boy, I got to get used to this because it's very thin. Look at that. Wow, that's a lot of glue. I couldn't find the metal tip of this here, which is what I would have preferred to have, but it's not available um, in, uh, well, where I, where I shop didn't have it, so um, I've ended up with this, but I'm really pleased that it's got this cover. That's awesome. So I'm hoping that's going to solve my glue problems. Now, what I've just realized, it said this is the dry time of 15 minutes, and I don't dare put that through the machine until that's completely dry. So there's going to be a little bit of a delay, but I will go ahead and stop now, go to the machine, finish these up, and I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back, and I've done the stitching. That's how it looks now. And then that. I love those. Beautiful images, aren't they? So uh, vintage looking. Okay, let me ink this little journal card up on the back a bit. Okay, I like that. Let me just put an eyelet in this one. I think I found a... Um, a source over here for the little ones, so I'm not <laughs> being as stingy with them now. So that's, I'm, I should be receiving those in the next couple days, so I'm so excited to see. I hope they're good quality, uh, because I do think this just, it finishes a project off to have a little bit of metal, I think. So, um, and I haven't wanted to use them much because of fear of, of not getting them. I told you guys, my son's coming over and I've had a few things sent to his address so he can bring to me, but um, as I said in a previous video, I'm still concerned that he's going to forget it. And uh, oh, Won't that be a bummer? Because I'm really counting on it. <laughs> I'm really counting on it. Um, so I think the night before I'm going to be hassling him to show me photos of what's in his bag. <laughs> uh, but no, I didn't go overboard because he's obviously got things he's, he needs to have. The, you can only have 50 pounds of weight in these um, in your suitcase for an international. So I, I, I didn't order as much as I could have. And let me just say, I'm so frustrated... Um, if you're in the U.S., you wouldn't know this, but if you're in the U.K. and have tried it, you'll know what I'm talking about. You cannot access Hobby Lobby from outside the United States, and I am so annoyed because there's several things I can only get from the Hobby Lobby, and I was going to place an order, have them shipped to him, and then he could have brought them over to me. Well, they won't even let you access to even just browse, which is crazy. Um, and I know it's not just me because there's forums of, of people commenting that what's up with Hobby Lobby. Uh, and it's crazy. I can't understand, you know, from the corporate office, what's the point of that? Because like that, they've just lost a sale because of that, because it would have been shipped to a U.S. address, but yeah, I don't know what their thinking is behind that, but anyways, it is what it is, but it's such a shame because, like I said, there's multiple things that I know Michaels doesn't carry, and um, so yeah, I'm really frustrated, but anyways, 
Okay, so on this one I just put a little bit of a, I have an old uh, bit of lace. Let me see where it's gone. Yeah, just a little. I just want a little bit of uh, texture behind that. Oh, I must get my saying out. Isn't that pretty? That's some old vintage. Uh, so delicate, that lace. So I'm just going to have that kind of hanging off there. And then I backed this. a little bit of, um, make sure I'm still in frame here, just put a little dollop of this glue and then the cheesecloth down. I go back and forth between my glues because um, this Beacon is quite expensive, so um, I try to use it sparingly. This seems to be a bit more precise for the tip on that. Um, and then this one is just a cheap glue, but as long as I don't need it to dry quickly, I, I try to use as much of that as I can just to keep um, the cost down because the um, three in one is brilliant, but oh my gosh, it's so expensive. No coupons in the UK. <laughs> I really, really wish. Um, I'll tell you what I'd like to see is Michaels come over here. And they would put a hurt on the um, craft stores if they offered coupons, and I don't know. They don't seem to be into coupons in the UK, and I'm not too sure why. But, gosh, I'd love to see Michaels come over here and open up and give us a 50% coupon, that would be amazing. Because, yeah, I, when I was living in uh, Florida, I just make sure I always had my Joann's um, coupon and go, or Hobby Lobby and go buy that there. Okay, so the reason I used that was because I'm gluing it to the little doily. And, you know, this is, I'm just giving little tips for anybody that's just starting out thinking, well, why did she switch glues? So, that's why I've done that, guys. So, there it is. Isn't that beautiful? Same thing, it'll just be glued and uh, flip open within the journal. And then this tag will slide out, and then you've got another little secret place so you could write something and, and it'll be tucked away in here. Oh, I love this kit. This is going to be, I cannot wait to get, I'm working today on the cover. As I said, it's going to be a hardback. Um, so today I'm going to be um, working on the cover. I don't know how long that's going to take. And then I'm hoping to start Getting, getting my pages. Uh, it'll be three signatures, so I'll start gathering everything that's going to go in that. Um, just another little thing. So that's it for the tutorial, guys. But I just thought very quickly I'd share with you guys a couple of books I recently picked up at um, last weekend's car boot. Um, I do, 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 went to, as I told you, we had to go away for... Um, for the week, so we were over in Wales, and <clears throat> luck, I, I, where I was staying, um, there was a car boot, and I thought, oh yeah, I can't be missing my car boot this week, so I uh, jumped out there, and this is what I ended up getting. Um, this is uh, the Good Housekeeping Cookbook, and, well, number one, I love that page. But what I liked about this, not so much these, I'm not really into glossy papers, but I love the color and the feel of these. So, you know, 
I've only got about 20,000 book pages to make envelopes with, so I thought, well, I better get some more. Um, but yeah, in my mind, I'm thinking, oh, aren't those going to be pretty? Because it's a nice color. It's uh, it's very different to any of the colors that I've got, <laughs> you know, of my other 20,000 pages that are sitting around. So that was my thinking behind this. Um, not that I'm planning on doing a kitchen journal, but who knows what's in the future, right? It might come in handy with that, but you know, barring that happening, happening, I'm, I, that's my thinking is I just like the coloring of that. I think it's really, really pretty. So I picked up that book. <coughs> I found this, which is really, uh, I've not seen any of the Reader's Digest here that have this type of a, um, cover, so I snatched this up. I got this for 50, 50 pence. Um, and yeah, it's, it's you know, it's already coming apart, but look at the, its beautifully aged pages. So, you know, there's another thousand book pages for my collection. But I love the cover of that. And you know what I like about the Reader's Digest? Because I'm not really into altering books. And I'll tell you why. Most of the books that you come across, the book, you know, the size of the paper you would need is really not easy to get. So these are perfect. So I may, you know, as much as I don't want to cover that, I might do it because it's just a beautiful size. I'm not, I'm not really into the marbling. I know a lot of people are. Nick the Booksmith loves the marbled book. It's not really my thing, so I don't really mind covering this. I just bought it because I think it's a really nice size. Um, and like I said, it was already, already falling apart, so it, it's, you know, it's just going to be upcycled now into a journal. So that got that. 50 pence. Um, this one. Gorgeous. Uh, I think this was about... Well, it, the first edition was 64, but this was 72, and you can really see it in the, um, when you start looking through it, it's, it's definitely uh, 70s, but I love this. Another awesome little find for adding to um, journals, because it's nice. I really, I like my journals to have a nice interesting assortment of pages um, and not necessarily um, like that. I wouldn't necessarily say, oh, that's got to be in a sewing themed, but that's me and maybe, you know, maybe you don't like that. That's totally fine too, but I, I like to mix it up because I think it's interesting when you're going through the journal these things from the past to read them. This one was a deal, guys. Let me tell you what happened here. In the grocery store, they had a little section of books, and I spotted it going out because you know uh, that's what I do. <clears throat> and I said, "What's what's up with those books up there?" And she said, "Oh, they're free, but you know we just ask that you give a donation. It's a charity." I'm like, oh my goodness! Well, let me tell you the story behind this. I spotted this last year at a um, B and B over in Wales, and. It was an older version, and I fell in love with it, and my husband knew I wanted it. So he bought me the older version for Christmas, um, and I think he ended up having to pay like 15 pounds to get it, because um, it's older than this one. So I spotted this, and I put a pound into the charity box, so I ended up a pound for this. And look at that, when that sold... That was 20 pounds for that book, but this is an amazing book. If you are into homesteading, this is everything, not in depth. It's just like a, an overall um, resource for being self-sufficient, um, building your own homestead. But look at the images in here. And <clears throat> I did debate. I told my husband, I said, I don't know if I want to cut this up. But at the end of the day, I've got the other one, and it's <clears throat> it's not as glossy as this, but oh, look at these images. 
they're just beautiful. And you know that this is my dream, is to be um, off-grid at some point in the, in the future. Not completely off-grid, because obviously I need to be um, connected for my junk journal ladies. But, but yeah, I love the idea of this. But this is an awesome, awesome book. Now, I don't know how easy it's going to be for you guys to find it, but if you run across this, snatch it up because these are becoming really difficult to find. And I even checked. This book um, right now is going for 10 pounds on eBay. So that was a really good deal. Um, my last one is this. Culpepper's Complete Herbal. Uh, this was a, another awesome, awesome find. I look at the images on that. And it's got all of your um, herbal, you know, holistic uses for the different uh, herbs. And I'm totally into this. This will not be cut up um, because this is totally me. I'm, I'm so into this um, holistic living. So that is just for myself. And look at that. It's in beautiful condition. I mean, this isn't the original. I think the original one was... 1826, and obviously this is a revised um, 18, 1981, but I love it. I love the way it's written. It's just a beautiful book, so that's going to be kept for myself. But I just want to share with you guys that um, because it might give you, you know, some more ideas on books to keep an eye out for, um, to use within your journals. Um, and as I said, I don't have enough book pages. So, <laughs> But anyways, guys, I better stop. I'm just rambling on today. But I hope you've enjoyed the uh, little tutorial. And I'll put the links below to the kit and to um, Andrea's Facebook group in case you want to join that. So I will see you guys here again very soon. Take care.